In today's video, we're going to talk about the five benefits of ozone therapy. Before we get into that, a couple of things that I want to mention is one, I'm not a medical doctor, so nothing in this video should be considered medical advice. I might also be using links in the description that are affiliated. So if you use those links, I might get a commission. That doesn't change my editorial integrity, but it helps make this channel happen. Speaking of support, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the alert icon so you get notified when I publish more videos like this. I also want to mention that I have a fairly in-depth blog post on my blog that goes into significantly more details with links to all the scientific evidence and rationale. So check that out if you want to learn more. Before we talk about the benefits, let's quickly talk about what is ozone. Ozone is a gas and it gets created in nature when UV light hits O2 molecules, so oxygen molecules. Those break apart and then in some cases reassemble is O3. So three oxygen atoms instead of two. And that makes ozone highly reactive. So ozone likes to react with other stuff around. And that's the reason why it has potential health benefits and can be used for treating specific illnesses and other things that we'll talk about in this video. Ozone can kill pathogens on contact, meaning that if you use ozone gas and blow it onto viruses or bacteria, then that gas can oxidize and kill and neutralize those pathogens. And that's one of the reasons why there are swimming pools and water treatment systems that leverage ozone to sanitize the water. In fact, the cold plunge that I have right in front of this window here next to me also uses ozone to keep the water clean. And so I don't have to use chemicals. And you can leverage that capability of ozone gas to treat wounds, infections. Dentists use it in dental practices to disinfect wounds and make sure nothing is, no pathogens are growing after maybe a surgery or something like that or other treatments. So to recap, ozone is very effective of killing pathogens on contact and so you can use it to treat non-healing wounds, ulcers and all kinds of superficial kind of infections and issues just by making sure that the ozone comes in contact with the infected area. Number two, ozone can activate your immune system. And it's not really the gas itself, but it's metabolites called ozonides. So when you bring ozone gas in contact with bodily fluids, for example, blood, then the ozone gas can oxidize some of the components within the blood, for example, and that creates ozonides. And those ozonides then activate the immune system. So they kind of act as a stressor to the body, much like cold plunging or sauna bathing or even exercise or fasting. Those are all stressors for the body. And in some cases, those stressors can activate the immune system. So in other words, the body sees, oh, there is something going on, which looks kind of like an infection, but it's not. And it activates the immune system to do its job. And by doing so, you get some of the downstream benefits of having an active immune system, particularly if you, if you already suffer from an infection that your immune system seems to have trouble dealing with. If the immune immune system isn't responding appropriately to an infection, you can use ozone to upregulate your immune system and help your body get the job done, basically. Ozone can also help with reducing inflammation and treating infections. And some of that goes back to the ozone's ability to upregulate the immune system. That's one way of how that works. The other one is by killing those pathogens on contact, like I've said previously. So if you have a non-healing wound, you can apply bagging or cupping in combination with ozone gas to heal those wounds and to increase an inflammatory or trigger an inflammatory response that again activates the immune system and kills those pathogens. Ozone has also been shown in scientific studies to positively support traditional cancer treatments. It provides or it makes for a more for a healthier environment in your body to make those cancer treatments more effective. So it can be used, for example, in combination with traditional chemotherapy. The fifth benefit of ozone therapy is that it can increase oxygenated blood flow. And it does that by a of different mechanisms. One is ozone can actually trigger angiogenesis, and that's the creation of new blood vessels. So if you have an area where, you know, you have reduced blood flow, maybe because of injury or an infection or whatever the case might be, ozone can help to create new blood vessels in the affected tissue that carry more nutrient rich and oxygenated blood to the area to speed up the healing process and to reduce inflammation in the process. Now, I've said before, 
if you paid attention that ozone can actually kind of act like an inflammatory substance that activates the immune system but interestingly enough by activating the immune system in the long run it actually reduces inflammation so it might cause a temporary spike of inflammatory markers in the area but as soon as the body has taken over it's done its thing the inflammation actually goes down and so the question is how can you leverage ozone therapy what are some of the modalities and treatment methods and there are a number of them but i want to differentiate between two main categories of ozone treatments one are systemic treatments that affect the entire body and the other one are localized treatments and localized treatments are typically easier to accomplish for example ear insufflation where you use like a stethoscope to blow ozone gas into your ear like if you have an ear infection and we've done that with our nine-year-old daughter she had an ear infection not too long ago and we used ozone ozone gas in particular to treat the ear infection and it was gone within two days you can also use cupping or bagging so if you have you know a wound a non-healing wound or an infection on your skin somewhere you can move your limb or bag your limb or use cupping if it's a more if it's a smaller area to treat that area with ozone gas so it would be the pure gas that would come in contact with the affected area to you know reduce inflammation to kill pathogens and speed up the healing process there are other localized treatments that are a little bit work a little bit differently for example you can use ozone oil i have a couple of bottles of ozone oil at home from simply o3 that you can use to you know if you have insect bites or li little scratches you can use them you can use that oil to speed up the healing process but there are also ozone oil capsules it's basically ozone suspended in olive oil for example that you can swallow to help with gut issues if you have bacterial overgrowth or some other issues in your gut you can use ozone oil to treat that there are also suppositories that you can use that have ozone and you can you know stick them up your butt if you have maybe diarrhea or some gi infection etc I remember when I was a kid, uh, my parents used that to treat fever, <laughs> uh, but those are an option as well. In contrast to that, there are systemic treatments. And systemic treatments, as the name implies, affect your entire body. And there are a couple of treatment methodologies that you can use for that. One is an IV, and I've done a video about that, so I'm going to link that down below on how you can expose some of the blood that you would draw first to ozone, let it oxidize some of the lipids in there, and then re-inject the treated blood into your bloodstream to allow those ozonides to reach your entire body and, and all the tissue in your body. That's fairly inv invasive. There are other options that are significantly less invasive. One is rectal insufflation and one is vaginal insufflation. So you basically blow ozone gas, certain amount takes maybe five minutes, either up your, um, your rectum or into your vagina, and those are also systemic treatments because those ozonides from those tissues can reach your entire body there are ozone saunas and ozone water there are a couple of other modalities i've talked about them all in my blog post so check them out but for at home use if you're now thinking okay i appreciate the benefits of ozone therapy how can i leverage that at home i would say the local treatments are fairly easy to do you don't even need an ozone generator if you want to leverage ear insufflation or rectal or vaginal insufflation you need to get an ozone generator we have one from simply o3 i'm going to link that down below in the description as well that makes it fairly easy to make your own ozone gas the only thing that i caution you not to do is to inhale ozone so if you might be thinking well i have a cough or whatever just you know breathe the ozone gas not a good idea because it can damage your lung as i mentioned ozone is fairly reactive and there are certain tissues in your body that should not be exposed to ozone gas directly and your lung tissue is one of them but again for systemic treatments ozone generator you need a, an oxygen tank i'm going to link all of that down below in the description also check out my video so you kind of get an idea of what it takes if you want to do it the iv route even though i highly recommend you work with a medical professional to get that done to wrap it up ozone therapy is not new it has been used for a long time in certain areas like dental practices to disinfect water and to sanitize water but recently there are more and more studies that show how ozone therapy can be used in many other areas from upregulating the immune system to supporting cancer treatments healing wounds dealing with infections etc and the good news is that ozone therapy it's fairly safe many of the treatments you can actually do at home 
You can use oil, you can use capsules, you can make your own ozone water, etc. Very low risk, but the potential for benefits are fairly high. We have a generator at home. We started realizing the benefits when my daughter had the ear infection. And since then, ozone therapy has become a part of our healthcare regimen. Whenever someone is sick, has stomach problems, cuts and scrapes, etc., we use ozone to speed up the healing process and to activate our immune system in cases where it can use some extra support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments what it could have done better. Until next time.